just pretty much put the team on her back last night and carried them forward. Uh, is that something that I'm sure you didn't have to tell her to do that, but could you kind of see it in her eyes that she was about to go do, uh, do what she did? She she prepped well. She she was real focused the, the two days prior to uh, playing Texas, and you know, almost just felt like she was going to have a big night for us. Um, I, I didn't think it was going to be at the expense of uh, Elena being in foul trouble, but sometimes when you know, when, when you lose a big body like that, you have a little bit more room to maneuver. Um, and I thought Asia took advantage of it. Does it just kind of show you the depth of this team that somebody like Elena has been dominant these first few games is not particularly effective, but someone still just slides right in kind of seamlessly? Yeah, I mean, we've been prepping. We've been prepping for, you know, times in which, you know, we're not fully balanced. Um, we, we don't like to do it in the form of, of foul trouble, but, um, usually it's like it's just not their night, um, but I think with you know with this team they really understand you know what what it takes to win and they're they're selfless and enough to to know, you know like we had a team meeting today Kayla was like the way they were guarding me I knew it wasn't going to be a night where I could score 20 points so you know I had to concentrate on rebounding and you know for her to recognize those things that's just being really smart and and not you know forcing things up although. You know, probably in her day, she's had to do that. So it's good, you know, on her part to recognize that. John, I'm looking at the way Asia was performing last night. She looked definitely like one of the best players in the country, but also very comfortable in that role. Is this something that you've been waiting to see from her this season? No, I mean, Asia's pretty mature. You know, she understands the type of team that we have. Um, you know, and it's, it's a, a fortunate situation. You know, she doesn't have to brunt the... You know, you know, putting the S on her chest, you know, like she did, you know, last night. You know, she can kind of let the game come to her. Um, and the same with, with with our other players, Elena. Elena's been playing like a, you know, she's been she's been in beast mode. Um, you know, so Asia played off of Elena. They just do a really good job of playing off each other. You know, Asia knows, you know, when you know, it's time to, you know, kind of take over. Elena knows when it's time to take over, and we we we. We have so much balance in that and, and knowing, you know, how to feed off each other that, you know, we're going to have those kind of nights. Uh, just talk about the depth of this team. How has it kind of showed up, you know, these last couple of games? Um, you know, we, we, we've been trying to just get better, just trying to, you know, continue to get better and um, get, give our youngsters some experience. And, you know, hopefully they can continue to grow in those experiences um, so, we can, so we can have that depth. We didn't play as many players last night because we just felt like the, the the lineup was pretty good but for the moments that you know kiki harrigan got in the game you know she played 15 minutes in the first half and that's probably she shot her load in that 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 first half but she grew she understood the environment she played through it um i thought ty harris gave us some great minutes so you know everybody's growing in in different ways and you know i think you know the, the beauty of this team is you know, we haven't really scratched the surface on um, being as good as we can be. Dawn, speaking of Ty, I, I think I'm correct. She played most of the second half. She did. Uh, was that a defensive call? Was she on McCarty the, the, the whole game? She actually was on McC McCarty um, most of most of the second half. Um, and you know, when when it's going that well, especially when we needed to get stops. You just gotta, you know, I felt we just needed to keep her in there and kind of keep some bigger guards on, you know, their big guards. And um, she did it, she did a fantastic job. And it's, it's those instances like that where, you know, we continue, have, continue to have to grow as a team because her plays is, is the sacrifice of someone like Bianca, um, which, you know, which sometimes is gonna be that way. Bianca played almost the whole first half. So it was kind of the, the tale of two halves. At all about yeah, she probably wanted to play a little bit more. I mean, you know, she's competitive. You know, if I know Bianca, she wanted to be out there helping her team. But, you know, in those instances, those are those are growing pains that we, we all have to go through as a team. Um, and we have to learn. Sometimes we got to sacrifice for the for the sake of getting a win. I know that Rebecca Greenwell for Duke is kind of on the wing. Would uh, Ty be a good option to try to guard her like she did during McCarty? We, we got to have everybody guarding her. You know, every single person. I mean, their their backcourt is is pretty solid. You know, from you know one to three, uh, they could put the ball in a hole, and they, they they run a lot of their stuff through them. So, 
you know, Ty will have her, Kayla will have her, Alicia will be, Bianca will have, they all want their, they, they all will have their opportunity to, you know, run around those screens and get through screens playing her. Last time out at Duke, obviously y'all, it was almost a home crowd for y'all, you know, another bus trip for this go around. How much are you looking forward to seeing what the, they can do this time? Well, I mean, we're looking forward to it. I think we got four bus loads that's going down. I think Duke changed their uh, seating <laughs> arrangements uh, this particular time. But, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully they'll have some fans in that lower level and they know, you know, they, they won't, you know, send us upstairs and they can create an environment that's good for college basketball. John, how good is this team on the road? Are you seeing a different team at home on the road? I know you guys are undefeated, but is there like a different uh, maybe uh, focus or energy when the team goes on the road? Um, I, I, I thought on the road at Texas, it, it felt a little bit different, you know, meaning, you know, we might have, might have been a little bit more tight than we usually are, um, you know, but, you know, each game is, you know, each game is, is gaining experience and, and figuring our team out and, and them figuring themselves out because I think a lot of times, you know, they just play, you know, they don't know what, I asked them today if they knew what was being said about our team and they had no idea, which is good and, and bad, it's good and bad, <laughs> but they don't understand what people are bringing into games. Texas knew what everybody was saying about our team, so they're going to play at a, a different level. You know, we got the targets on our backs now. We we got to come out with a sense of urgency in the beginning of the game, and we're, we didn't we didn't have that against Texas last night. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks.